we are so comfortable in what we are because we know we wake up, we have a cup of coffee, we get outside and we know there is a car and you go there and there is a road and how about you come out of the house and there's no road, what to do? You need to find some grounding point. And this is the grounding point that I'm trying to find here at my studio. <laughs> For myself, what is it? Well, I'm Olga Porter. Olga Nikolaevna Porter. Nikolaevna is uh, my patronymic name. I am going outside, I'm painting outside. I, you know, I, I, I try to connect with people, or some people that I imagine sometimes. I went to junior art school in a provincial town, pretty far from Leningrad, and uh, that was my life. <laughs> Growing up in the Soviet Union, where uh, not much made sense in general, so you kind of try to make sense of what is happening around you. So you are trying to find something that rings true, maybe even imagine some things. If you look at everything around you, everything is in motion. It says the light, the smell, the wind, the colors, everything is alive. And, and that's why I'm thinking about uh, inanimate objects as something that you can be emphatic about. Like there's a moving car, the car has a character. Or if there is a tree, what does it feel up there with all that wind and cold? <laughs> you know? uh, sometimes you see the light is painted really, really thick. And the, uh, the buildings are kind of whimsy and the cars that are passing by, they are really sketchy. And, uh, and then you see what is more permanent. Is it the light? Is it the atmosphere? Or is it something that was built by people and we can, we can touch? <laughs> we are used to seeing how things are and this is what they think what they are. But we are not looking. <laughs> yeah? Oh, also this interesting thing about peripheral vision, you know, like sometimes when you look at something like straight at the face and yeah, you see that, but then you don't. And then sometimes it just pass by and then that was the essence of it. Sometimes it is even with uh, some work of art I, I noticed in, in the museum. You know, I'm looking at the painting, I think, oh yeah, this is a famous painting, what's so good about it? Yeah, maybe this and this is, okay, I got it. And then I just pass by, oh, yeah, it struck me, I got it. <laughs> I, I don't like painting on white, I usually choose some background color and a lot of times it's pink like this and, uh, you know, somebody told me, why are you painting that so pink? It's like, uh, maybe we have like pink, gla like, like pink glasses, like, <laughs> so it's my world through pink glass, I don't know. I start with some background color, and then on top I put just layers, 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 and, uh, you know. So, no, this is the place, this is, I have a very, very small sketch, what it is, and, and, and then and I start on that, very, very loose, and, and then I'm not quite sure how to develop this. And then, like this painting, okay, I'm putting this red part in here that is like, you know, so cozy and comfy and so interesting what's going on in that street. And this is, this is the story of all my paintings. Everything has energy, right? And sometimes um, you drive somewhere or you, you walk somewhere or whatever and then suddenly you see, suddenly you feel it, just something clicks and uh, this is what you, you try to remember, well, I, I do a lot of sketches, I do uh, photos, uh, all of that becomes reference material for something to understand that energy, not to understand, I don't want to put it into words, but to kind of to feel it, to feel it, to find what, 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 what was it exactly, and if it rings true, then it, it becomes a successful painting. And that's it. That's simple.